yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and today we are going to create our service locator and we will be using the get it for that one so let's go to our core folder over here and let's create a new file and let's call this one as the service locator over here and the dot file and once we have this particular file what we need to do is we need to create the instance of the get it so final i'll just say uh, get it over here that will be let's make this one as the get it and which is of equals to a uh, get it dot the ins dinc instance and i need to import this particular package so i can't find that package over here so let's go and import it manually that will be of the uh, get it dot the uh okay so this should be the one and once we have the instance of the uh, get it what we can do is we can register all of our object so for that let us create the uh, one function or the uh, method over here so i'll just call ved uh, or the void sorry and we need to make one function name that will be of a service locator in it and once we have this the uh, function at the method what we can do is we can register our object so let's say get it dot register over here and you can see there are a lot of the options to register you can either register a factory a singleton lazy singleton and all of the stuff and for now what we want to do is we just want to register it as a factory and we want to register the uh, go router over here and go router provider that is our class that we previously created and what does the uh, register factory does over here it it is going to create our go router provider every time we ask for it so it's not going to give us a single instance but but it's going to recreate a new object or it's going to create a new object every time we ask for it to provide this go router provider instance which basically means that uh some something similar like, like that you are manually creating it a new instance every time right so once we ask, ask to get it a hey, please provide us a please give us this go router provider instance so it's going to create a new instance for us it's not going to reuse if there is already a previously created instance so that is the uh the uh, the register factory pattern and go uh, and the get it itself is the service locator pattern and uh, it's completely different from the dependency injection so don't get confused about the uh, dependency injection and the service locator pattern both of them are a completely different way and in the uh, with the get it we are using a service locator pattern we are asking or we want or we will be asking for the get it to provide or, or give us the the instance that we require so in this case we are uh, registering a go router provider and later we will see how we can request the or uh, how we can ask the get it instance to provide this go router instance so for that let's go back to the uh, main widget over here and we have created a go router provider over here manually so here we are creating manually for the go router provider instance so this can be replaced with the get it right so i can just say get it over here get it dot get and with this i can manually uh, i can pass in the type of the object that i require so go router provider over here so in this way i'm asking the get it to provide me the instance over here so i'm not um, i'm i'm asking for the the get it please provide me this go router instance over here and it will look into its container and if we have registered that particular go router provider in the get it um, instance or to get it container so it it's going to look up there and it's going to take that instance and give us uh, or if there is if we haven't registered then we will get an error over here so make sure whenever you are using the get it that get and pass in the type over here the, the type of the object that you require you have to make sure that you have registered that on the get it so that should be on the service locator file that where we have registered over here right all of our register 
object will uh, be over here and in this a service locator init function or the method so this function should be called from your main that the dart file so here we'll go and call the service locator init because we want to initialize all of our object or the get it instance and it's uh, we need to register all of the object before our run app right and that should be defined with this particular uh, get it currently we just have one object to register but later we will have more object to be registered over here so i guess you got the point uh how to register the uh how to register your instance how to create the get it right and what is the uh service locator over here and i guess that's all for this lesson and we'll meet up in the uh next lecture till then have a great day